Evening everyone, how are you? Welcome to the quiz. Well, uh, have you been sorting your bubble out today? Um, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, does it? Previously it was uh, your six best friends that you could go and socialise with, so you certainly knew who your mates were, and now it's kind of like we can go and stay at somebody else's house, but at least it's progress, isn't it? I think um, things are certainly uh, looking up, but uh, schools are, are looking a little bit uh, sketchy. But anyway, how are you? How are you all doing? Hope you had uh, a good week so far. Unfortunately, uh, Sherry said the sun's gone into lockdown as well, hasn't it, unfortunately? So uh, we managed to get out on Monday, but uh, Tuesday I was helping my dad out. But um, yeah, it's been a little bit miserable today. So hope you're all doing okay so a couple of people sarah cousins hi guys how are you debbie from salford hello jay how are you mate good to see you a up in Not nottingham we're quiz ready brilliant um barnet update it's getting worse and worse and worse although i'm starting to get used to it um now so uh, i don't know whether i'll cut it uh, i might just let it grow out until i have to go back to work just for the just for the giggles but um leslie dawson hello john from uh leisha sorry I, I always get that wrong you must be laughing and giggling I, I won't i will say it right now leisha from uh newport in shropshire apologies i've been getting that wrong every week haven't i i do apologize there's nothing worse than getting somebody's uh somebody's name wrong but i've got a tiny little thing on screen i've got to read it quick so i do apologize uh hello from tina and john in western supermare hi guys chris m uh Good to be back from uh, Wandsworth. How are you, mate? I hope you are good. That McDonald's is looking pretty busy on the roundabout, isn't it? Have you seen the queue? It's absolutely ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I drove past there last night. Richard Nat Barrett, hi guys. How are you? Um, hopefully, as as has uh, Rich found the drone yet? I we flew it on Monday, and I don't know. I I, I don't mind flying it. But I'm always worried it's not mine, so I've put it in a tree about three times. Um, like we say, it's just a tool, but uh, <laughs> I'm always always worried about it's going to come back. We've had it about two miles away before. Uh, I want to go my static and Devon, no mention of that. He can shove the bubble. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, flashy, okay, have a look at this. It is, um, I don't know, like, it is, yeah, it's bad. It's like, it's worse at the back. See, I'm going to be able to put a man bun in soon, uh, which I've never done. Um, and actually, my uh, uh, I don't know if Amanda Marshall's watching, but she put a photo up of me on Facebook about 10 years ago. No, 27 years ago. God, I look so young. It's, it's, it's weird. But yeah, all cool. Uh, Paul Skipsy, evening John. Paul and Anne from working in Cumbria. Hope you are. Yeah, I'm really good, thanks. No, not too bad at all. Uh, what else we got? Michael Tate, social distance love to the Jobsons, especially the big man. Stay strong, my brother. Cool. There, there she is, is Caroline. Um, how are you doing? I'd fit right in in Bristol. I didn't know it was a man bun uh, country. Uh, Hugo, Liz and Mobley, Team Spaniel here again. Hi guys, Debbie Taylor, uh, Mr. Sunday, knew we were very hungover from Debbie and Phil in Salford. Hopefully, hopefully feeling a little bit uh, a little bit better today. Um, did you just have a duvet day? Uh, every day seems like a duvet day uh, at the moment. Chris says he hasn't been down that way recently. Oh, he must be the other side of Wandsworth. Uh, cool. Hello, John from the Quiz Family. Alison Ritchie in Cunnington, Cheshire. Hi, Alice. How are you? Good to see you every week. Uh, Susie Perry says hi from Not So Sunny Talk. Uh, talk a. Uh, Nigel Howlett says no man bun. You're obviously like the uh, short hair. Yeah, usually it's all grade two cropped up and uh, looking fairly professional but at the moment uh, it's uh, it, under a cap for the time being so if you're new to the quiz welcome thanks very much for popping by uh, do share it with anybody that you uh, you think might be interested uh, four rounds this tonight 15 questions around as usual uh, i've got trivia music uh, entertainment and a blockbusters round uh, feedback from my dad was the blockbusters rounds maybe a little bit too easy so i've uh, tried to um, spice it up a little bit but um yeah it's quite hard the um the bank that i use is uh, quite difficult uh Cool. So who else we got? John Mount Stevens. Hi from Western Supermare. Shelley Thorne. Hi. How are you doing? Hi from Redditch. Carol Shuck. Julie Jew. Teesside Calling. Oh, brilliant. Uh, hi Abby. How are you doing? Hello to your sister. I did a, a food and drink round for you last last time. I don't think you popped by though. So, but it's still uh, received well nonetheless. Uh, Avril Maley. Hello from uh, Avril in Newport. Is that Newport, Wales? Richard Butler from Anglesey and uh, Samantha Woodford from uh, Bournemouth. Good, so nearly uh, set to go. I'll just give it another couple of minutes to allow people um, to arrive. But thanks to everyone that uh, gave me the Netflix recommendations. I've been slowly working my th way through that. And um, yeah, actually, Caroline Hurst gave me a really good recommendation, a thing called uh, Sh Sh Shark VPN, I think it's called. Uh, but if you install that, something like £1.50 a month. Um, you get all the American Netflix, they've got bags more. So um, it certainly opened up my world. Uh, a little bit. Uh, Abby's sending loves to the t Tates, uh, looking for a reunion barbecue soon. Yeah, I think the whole world is. I think I saw some photos of people trying to have a barbecue, but with the, with the rain, it's almost like it's just the opposite at the moment. Hi, Annette, how are you? Uh, Annette and Dave in Warrington. 
Uh, we got Jeanette Knight, hello again from Sunny Essex. Joan Taylor from County Durham. Uh, Abby Ella says hi, hi Ella, how are you doing? Susie Perra, uh, talky, talky. Did I say it wrong? Sorry. Um, apologies. Something to look forward to on Wednesday and Sunday. Got my daughter Grace today, first time. I hope she likes it as much as I do. Yeah, hello Grace, how are you doing? Hope you enjoy the quiz. I'm not sure how old you are, so um, <laughs> I don't know how, how good these questions will be for you, but um, hopefully not too too difficult. Shelley Thorne says, my dad's playing tonight to say hi to Dave and Tracy Kemp for you. Hi Tracy and Dave, how are you guys uh, doing? Well, it's starting to feel a little bit like more normality, isn't it? But my job is in aviation, so um, I don't think I'm going to be going back anytime soon. And um, yeah, uh, a lot of the airlines are using it to force their um, force their hand force the hand of the union. So it's been pretty pretty bad, and a lot of people are really quite worried about their jobs because it's not last in first out. They're just going to do it on a fleet basis. So if they get rid of a fleet, that's it, you're gone. So yeah, pretty worrying actually because uh, I don't think any of us ever thought you'd be out of a job in aviation, or you know, only if your company uh, went bust. But uh, yeah. Uh, Dad says he probably said the wrong thing about the blockbusters run. No, I, no, I, I agree. I think it was uh, pro there were probably too many open goals there, but um, it's not. I haven't made it ridiculously difficult. I've just, uh, I've just not. It's, it's really easy to write because you can. They're all sort of fairly interesting. Whereas the, the other ones I go through, I'm, I'm trying to make it interesting. The questions as well, rather than just stuff that you would, you know, most people wouldn't know. Amory Thornry for the quiz. Good. Uh, Joan Teller says, love the way you say County Durham. Ca County Durham. Um, yeah, I probably said that wrong as well. Apologies. It's, you sort of read these things. I don't know if you've ever watched um, Anchorman, but they said, you know, you, you read whatever's on the, uh, whatever gets put up there. You don't really think about it sometimes because it's just sort of coming through so quick because I've got two channels coming in here. So, um, yeah, just trying to get everybody up uh, that we can. So, as always, I'm sure you saw the um, little uh, ban banner on the top. So make sure I get this right. Uh, no, no. Sorry, I can't can't find it at the moment. But yeah, huge huge thanks to my brother as always for all this kit. Um, he should have his website up this week, so I'll pop that up. But um, yeah, he's been really kind letting me all this stuff so that I can do this. Um, but yeah, cool. Right, let's uh, get on the way in a sec. Uh, you bash soon now, so you bring it down. Oh, well, that's not hard, well, is it? Pizza. Someone, someone, a really bad cook who incinerated sausages. Paul, evening. Uh, Paul, how you doing? Paul and Lynn, ready for you for duty. Hope your lips get better, Paul. I'm uh, looking forward to uh, to a ride uh, very soon, uh, indeed. Kevin says uh, music. No, uh, yeah, sorry, there is a music round uh, this week um, again, and I've got entertainment. That sort of takes in. Um, oh, my music playing. Sorry. That'll be why. Thanks for letting me know. Um, cool. Just uh, Gremlins, uh, it's a trouble when you stream on your on your own. Can you hear me now? Is that better? Good. P apologies for that. Uh, I think I pressed the wrong the wrong button uh, on here. Is that all good? Just let me know. Kevin says he can't hear me, but everything's showing on here that you should be. Uh, nobody's complaining. So usually the first thing that people complain about is. Uh, there we go. Just as the music was playing, can't hear. Sorry about that. I've, I've been pressing multiple buttons trying to get my brother's um, graphic to come on and it, it didn't want to come down for some reason. Right, let's get underway. It is 11 minutes past, so it should take around about an hour and a quarter, an hour and 10 minutes. We'll do the first two rounds, come back, give you the answers to them, and then um, and then uh, we'll do the uh, last two rounds. If you do want to be on the quiz, I've got Bev page one that I def desperately want to get on up against Frank Halliday. Hi, guys. Um, but I haven't been able to make that happen, unfortunately. Uh, but if you do want to get on uh, the quiz and... Uh, will interact, uh, just send me an email or send me a message on Facebook. Here's all the uh, the details here. So it's facebook.com forward slash the virtual quiz or you can email me at uh, the virtual quiz at uh, gmail.com. Right, that's enough of me rabbiting on. Let's get on with round number one of the quiz. All right, let me just team this up. Here we go. Uh, pens and papers at the ready and Let's go. So in politics, what's the German equivalent of the uh, post of prime minister? So in the UK, obviously, the head of the government is a prime minister. What's the equivalent in Germany? Question one, in politics, what is the German equivalent of the post of prime minister?
Question number two, in seamanship, the bowline, figure eight, and reef are all types of what? So again, if you don't know that, probably have a guess. That'll be an open goal for Sarah. And anybody that enjoys sailing. Question two, in seamanship, the bowline, figure eight, and reef are all types of what? Question three, which English princess became a pupil at St. George's School, Ascot in September 2000? Again, if you don't know that, you probably have a guess about sort of ages and stuff like that. There's not that many princesses, are there? Question three, which English princess became a pupil at St. George's School, Ascot in September 2000? Question four, in maths, if a train travels at 80 miles per hour, how far does it go in two and a quarter hours? That's what I get you thinking, but Dad's pretty good at these. And whenever you're doing aptitude tests for um, jobs in aviation, you always used to get about 40 of these that you had to do in 10 minutes. In maths, if a train travels at 80 miles per hour, how far does it go in two and a half quarter hours? Question five, in nature, what is a monkey puzzle? In nature, what is a monkey puzzle? Question number six. In the UK, which licence cost 37 pence when it was abolished in 1988? Again, think about what you might need a licence for. Probably surprise you, but it was abolished. Question six. In the UK, which licence cost 37 pence when it was abolished in 1988? Question seven, in maths, if the time is 9.40 a.m., how many minutes must pass before it's midday? So in maths, if the time is now 9.40 a.m., how many minutes must pass before it's midday? Question eight, in medicine, which is worse, a first degree burn or a third degree burn? That's one for you, Dr. Hurst. In medicine, which is worse, a first degree burn or a third degree burn? Question number eight, so again, 50-50 if you don't know that one. Question number nine, which English premiership football team is nicknamed the Gunners? Now, if you're not even a sports fan, you probably know that one. Which English premiership football team is nicknamed the Gunners? Question 10, how many weeks does a standard human pregnancy last? Quite a few out there, I'm sure have been through this. Obviously I haven't. How many weeks does a standard human pregnancy last? So, you know what it is roughly in months, most people know that, but how many weeks is it? Question 10, how many weeks does a standard human pregnancy last? Question 11, to which English football club was Paul Gascoigne under contract between 1988 and 1992? Quite a famous player for this team. He's quite a famous player anyway, isn't he? But question 11, to which English football club was Paul Gascoigne under contract between 1988 and 1992? I don't know how he's getting on these days, but he certainly seemed to... 
be in a bit of trouble. Question 12. The wreck of which German World War II battleship was located on the sea bottom in June 1989? Very famous German battleship. And if it, if it had actually got out into sea and thought they were really worried about it, so they managed to sink it. Question 12. The wreck of which German World War II battleship was located on the sea bottom in June 1989? Question 13. In transport, which is the only London mainline rail terminus to shame its, uh, sorry, to share its name with a bridge over the River Thames? So think about all the railway stations in London and think about whether there's a bridge also with that name, which is the only London mainline rail terminus to share its name with a bridge over the Thames. Cycled over it a few times in lockdown. Question 14, at which, at what speed would you have been traveling if a journey of 60 miles took an hour and a half? Question 14, at what speed would you have been traveling if a journey of 60 miles took an hour and a half? There's a few questions there that if you've got an open goal might have to think about. Question 15. For which country did Viv Richards play test cricket? Very famous cricketer for this team. Question 15. For which country did Viv Richards play test cricket? Good, that's the end of round number one. So just to recap, in politics, what was the German equivalent of the post of Prime Minister? Question two, in seamanship, the bowline, figure eight, and reef for all types of what? Question three, which English princess became a pupil at St George's School, Ascot, in September 2000? Question four, in maths, if a train travels at 80 miles per hour, how far does it go in two and a quarter hours? I'll just repeat that in case you didn't get it. In maths, if a train travels at 80 miles per hour, how far does it go in two and a quarter hours? Question five, in nature, what is a monkey puzzle? Often uh, there's a pub in Farmer named after that. I had to go and look it up. Question six, in the UK, which licence cost 37 pence when it was abolished in 1988? Question seven, in maths, if the time is 9.40 a.m., how many minutes must pass before it's midday? So if it's 9.40 a.m., how many minutes must pass before it's midday? Question eight, in medicine, what, which is worse, a first degree burn or a third degree burn? Question nine, which English Premiership football team is nicknamed the Gunners? Question 10, how many weeks uh, does a standard human pregnancy last? Question uh, 11, to which English football club was Paul Gascoigne under contract between 1988 and 1992? Question 12, the wreck of which German World War II battleship was located on the sea bottom in 1989? Question 13, in transport, which is the only London mainline trails, uh, rail terminus to share its name with a bridge over the River Thames? Question 14, at what speed would you have been travelling if a journey of 60 miles took an hour and a half? So if a journey of 60 miles took one and a half hours. Question 15, for which country did Viv Richards play uh, test cricket? And Nigel Howlett says he doesn't like the, the maths questions, he wants a Star Wars question. There was a Star Wars question in the last quiz. I don't think you were there, Nigel, you, you missed it. Well, it was sort of a Star Wars question, wasn't it? Uh, but I will do it next time for you. That will be an open goal for you. Right, cool. Let's move on to round number two, which is uh, everyone's favourite or seemingly their favourite is the music round. So pens and papers standing by. And here we go. So this is a lyrics question. So I'll put a few lyrics in. People seem to quite enjoy that. So she was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. What's the name of that song and artist? Question number one, she was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. What's the name of the song and the artist? Question two, which female singer had hits in 1993 with Dreams and in the year 2000 with Rise?
Which female singer had hits in 1993 with Dreams and in the year 2000 with Rise? Question three, who entered the 1973 Eurovision Song Contest with the song Congratulations? Question number three, who entered the 1973 Eurovision Song Contest with the song Congratulations? Question number four, what group singles include You Really Got Me and Waterloo Sunset? I've got that song going around in my head now. Question four, what group singles include You Really Got Me and Waterloo Sunset? Question five, which English punk band released the album London Calling in 1979? Still a pretty popular album, isn't it? Which English punk band released the album London Calling in 1979? Question six, what was the title of Tina Turner's 1991 best-selling album? Question number six, what was the title of Tina Turner's 1991 best-selling album? Again, you probably have a guess at that if you're, uh, if you're unsure. Question seven, Live Your Life Be Free was a 90s hit for who? All the music that I grew up with. Question seven, Live Your Life Be Free was a 90s hit for whom? So next one's a lyric question coming up. Question number eight. Question number eight, I'm a model, you know what I mean. What's the name of the band and the song? A bit of a one hit wonder, I think. Question eight, I'm a model, you know what I mean. I should really sing it, shouldn't I? But I don't want to subject you to that. I'm a model, you know what I mean. Question nine, which now legendary sports chant reached number one in 19, no, sorry, I nearly said 1966, 1996. which now legendary sports chant reached number one in 1996. Question number 10, again, this is a lyric. She leads a lonely life, so it's the opening song. It's a great song, this, I really liked it. Still like it. Question 10, she leads a lonely life. So looking for the name of the band and the, and the song. So half a point if you can only name one of them. Question 11, what was the gang name of John Travolta and his cohorts in the movie Grease? I must have watched this film about 50 or 60 times. That and Grease too. I think it was almost as good actually. Question 11, what was the gang name of John Travolta and his cohorts in the movie Grease? Absolutely timeless film, isn't it? Question 12, who covered Wayne Fontana's A Groovy Kind of Love in 1988? Question 12, who covered Wayne Fontana's A Groovy Kind of Love in 1988? 
Question 13. What was the name of the club in Liverpool where the Beatles first performed as an underground club, wasn't it? Very, very famous now. What was the name of the club in Liverpool where the Beatles first performed? Question 14. Which singer was originally known as Harry Webb? Question 14. Which singer who was originally known as Harry Webb? And finally, question 15. Who saw Life Through a Lens on his 1998 album? Huge star. Who saw Life Through a Lens on his 1998 album? Good. So, uh, question one. She was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. What was the name of the um, artist and the song title? Question number two. Which female singer had hits in 1993 with Dreams and in, uh, and in the year 2000 with Rise? Question three. Who entered the 1973 Eurovision Song Contest with the song Congratulations? Question four. What group singles include You Really Got Me and Waterloo Sunset? Question five, which English punk band released the album London Calling in 1979? Question six, what was the title of Tina Turner's 1991 best-selling album? Question seven, Live Your Life, Be Free was a 90s hit for who? Question eight, I'm a model, you know what I mean. What's the name of the band and the, uh, and the song name? Question nine, which now legendary sports chant uh, reached number one in 1996? Question 10, she leads a lonely life. What's the name of the artist and the song? Question 11, what was the gang name of John Travolta and his cohorts in the movie Grease? Question 12, who covered Wayne Fontana's A Groovy Kind of Love in 1988? Question 13, what was the name of the first of the club in Liverpool where the Beatles first performed? Question 14, which singer was originally known as Harry Webb? And finally, question 15, who saw Life Through the Lens on his 1998 album? Fantastic, right, so let's go back and give you the answers to uh, round number one, number two, and as usual, a little bit of a break and then we'll move on to rounds three and four. So pens and papers at the ready to, uh, I'll give you the answers to round number one. Good, so in politics, uh, what is the German equivalent of uh, the post of prime minister? It's the chancellor. Question two, in seamanship, the bowline, figure eight and reef, are all types of what? They're all types of knots. So if you're an able seaman, you know how to tie these knots. Uh, and actually learning the ropes is an, uh, another one as well. As, an, as a midshipman, you had to learn every rope on the, uh, on the ship. That's why they call it, called it learn, learning the ropes. Question three, which English princess became a pupil at St. George's School, Ascot in September 2000? That was Princess Beatrice. Of course, her dad's in a bit of hot water at the moment, isn't he? Uh, question four, in maths, if a train travels at 80 miles per hour, how far does it go in two and a quarter hours? So it's 180 miles. Question five, in nature, what is a monkey puzzle? It's a tree, a type of tree. Uh, question six, in the UK, which license cost 37 p uh, pence when it was abolished in 1988? It was a dog license, you needed a license to keep a dog and then they scrapped it. Question seven, in maths, if the, train, if, if the time is 9.40 a.m., how many minutes must pa pass before it's midday? It's 140 minutes, so just add 20 on to, to get it to 10 and then it's two hours from there. And add that up. That's how I did it. Question eight. In medicine, which is worse, a first degree burn or a third degree burn? It's a third degree burn. It goes deeper into your skin tissue. Question nine. Which English premiership football team is nicknamed the Gunners? I'm sure most people got that. It's Arsenal. Question ten. How many weeks does a standard human pregnancy last? It's 40 weeks. N nine months. Question number 11. To which English football club was Paul Gascoigne under contract between 1988 and 1992? It was Tottenham Question 12, and 12, the wreck of which German World War II battleship was located on the sea bottom in 1989? It was the Bismarck. It was the Battle of Bismarck. They, they were desperately trying to sink it before it actually went fully operational because I don't think they think it could have ruined 
uh, the fleet. Question 13, in transport, which is the only London maritime, uh, uh, sorry, the only London mainline rail terminus to share its name with a bridge over the Thames, it's Waterloo. So you've got Waterloo Station and Waterloo Bridge. Question 14, at what speed would you have been travelling if a journey of 60 miles took an hour and a half? Uh, you'd be going 40 miles an hour. So that's your time, distance, speed calculations if you know how to do them. And question 15, for which country did Viv Richards play test cricket? It was for the West Indies. Good stuff, right. Uh, on to hope that wasn't too tricky. Here we go. So uh, music round coming up. She was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. That was, of course, Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. Probably kicking yourself if you didn't get that. Question two, which female singer uh, had hits in 1993 with Dreams and in the year 2000 with Rise? It was Gabrielle. I haven't seen her for a while, actually. Question three, who entered the 1973 Eurovision Song Contest with the song Congratulations? It was Sir Cliff Richards. Question four, what group singles include You Really Got Me and Waterloo Sunset? That is The Kinks. Question five, which English punk band released the album London Calling in 1979? It was The Clash. It's still a popular song today, isn't it? It's used in a lot of adverts. Question six, what was the title, uh, title of Tina Turner's 1991 best-selling album? It was Simply the Best. Question seven, Live Life, uh, live, sorry, Live Your Life Be Free was a 90s hit for who? That was Belinda Carlisle. Again, haven't heard from her in uh, quite a while. Question eight, I'm a model, you know what I mean. You'll probably kick yourself if you didn't get this. It was Right Said Fred, I'm Too Sexy. They were a bit of a one-hit wonder, weren't they, uh, really? Okay, it was a fun song nonetheless. Question nine, which now legendary sports chant released, uh, reached number one in 1996? It was, of course, Three Lions. So it's sung pretty uh, frequently at most football matches. I think football's coming back fairly soon, isn't it? And then they're going to have to do like three matches a day. I don't think, they don't know how they're going to keep up. Question 10, she leads a lonely life. That was Ace of Base, All That She Wants. Again, if you only got one part of that, give yourself half a point. Question 11, what was the gang name of John Travolta and his cohorts in the movie Grease? It was, they were the T-Birds. Question 12, who covered Wayne Fontana's A Groovy Kind of Love in 1988? It was Phil Collins. Question 13, what was the name of the club in Liverpool where the Beatles first performed? It was the Cavern Club. Now, very, very famous place to play now. And question 14, which singer was originally known as Harry Webb? Again, it's already done. I've only really realised now there's a, another Cliff Richard question, uh, but another Cliff Richard answer. But yeah, it was Sir Cliff Richard. And question 15, who saw Life Through a Lens on his 1998 album? It was, of course, Robbie Williams. Brilliant. Right, so that's the end of round number one and two. I'll have a quick uh, quick break. Let me know how uh, you got on in the chat. Uh, maybe a tad, tad more difficult than before. Um, it's difficult to get the music questions and sort of the right genre because if I put it all like really modern stuff, a lot of people won't won't get it. So um, yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know how you enjoyed it, and I'll let you uh, recharge your glasses. Might what, what have we got here? So. Uh, Oh, Beth Page has got 30 out of 30, as, as usual. Wow, you guys uh, really are uh, good quizzes. But they said, um, what did you get? Martin Jenkins got 15 for 28. It's not too bad. Hopefully, hopefully still enjoying it. I think Beth was saying that she's looking forward to winter again so you can go uh, go snowboarding. Uh, Frederick Davies, 25 out of 30. Chris M's doing uh, well, 28 out of 30. That's brilliant. Janice Royce, hi Janice, 25 out of 30. So not too bad. Rich and Nat Barrett, Batting out of the park again this week. Uh, 30. Nigel Howlett's got 25. His wife's got 26. Come on, Nigel. You can do it. I put a couple of sports questions in there for you um, so that you can um, hopefully beat your wife. Not that I'm being favouritist. Paul McConnell. Hi, Paul. Uh, 26. Uh, 30. Karen's got 28. That's decent. Uh, so I'm trying to keep up. John Mount Stevens, 17 out of 30. Tina Louise, 26 out of 30. Annette, 25 out of 50. I haven't given you... Oh, uh, no, it's going to be 60, I think. 25. 25 at 30 so far. Julie Vernon, 25 at 30. Julie Jew, 25 as well. Annette's got 30. Good good score. Paul Batty, oh God, it's all coming in now. Uh, 25. I love the Cliff Richard rounds. Yeah, sorry, yeah, there's two, two questions in there, weren't there, about him. Susie Perry, 25. Cindy Pearson's got 18. Playing on your own. Uh, Jane Osborne's 22. Cara Maris Betts, I'm so, sorry if I've got that wrong. I, I think it's the first time I've seen you. How are you? Hope you're well. Uh, Con Elsie's got 24 with the hubby's help. It's always good to help out if you've got a uh, isolation buddy. Uh, Con Elsie's 24. Um, we had twins. Standard pregnancy was 38. Trick question for us. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, hope they're all doing well, Jay. And good to see you. Th thanks very much. Uh, Annette Gibbons is uh, 27. Um, Andy 
TFC's got 20, lost it on music round with only six. Yeah, if, if honestly, if I was doing a music round, I wouldn't do well at all. Dad says 21 out of 30, game of two halves. Hope it wasn't too tricky. I, I put them a little bit in your genre there, Dad, so ho hopefully it wasn't too tricky for you. Uh, what else we got? Jeanette Knight, 16, would like a food and drink question. Uh, yeah, I'll do that next time. I did that for Abby's sister, uh, but I'll bring that in next uh, week on Sunday. Alice Wheeler's got 23, it's good. It's decent. John Hunter's got 24. Gemma Louise Ryan's got 22. Uh, the Jobsons have got 29. Uh, Karen Maris Bet says, good, thank you. You did say right, good. Yeah, sorry, because I've got um, I've got, I've got people's names wrong and I feel really bad for it. But uh, yeah, what about Black Fries? Yeah, Mainline Terminus is, um, is uh, yeah, it's not really a Terminus Black Fries, is it? It's more of a through, um, through. I suppose you could have that if, if you wanted to, but I think it's, it, it, um, Blackfriars has got lines that run through it. Waterloo is actually a terminus station, isn't it? Uh, where it ends, which is what the, what the question said. But yeah, cool. So it looks like it wasn't too bad. It doesn't look like anybody's totally bombed out. Uh, so that, that was uh, fairly happy with that. So next round is entertainment. And then um, everyone's seeming favourite is the blockbusters. And that there said about the sun going on... Um, Sun going into lockdown. Shuri says, 23, music is my strength. Brilliant. Nice one, Shuri. Good to see you, as always, and thanks for your emails. I hope you've been able to rip some of these questions off. Um, but yeah, I've been looking at a few other people's quizzes. Some really good uh, some really good, good guys, creative guys coming out with stuff at the moment. Oh, a food and drink round, but no sci-fi round. Uh, honestly, Nigel, you, you love your sci-fi, don't you? I'm, I'm a closet Star Trek uh, I'm a closet trekker, not like I've got all the kit, but like I watched it, I watched pretty much all of them, and I love my sci-fi stuff. Um, don't know if you watched The Expanse, that was really cool. Again, that's something else that I've, I've watched in lockdown. Right, let's uh, move on because it's twenty to nine. I'm sure you've uh, want to crack on. I've got to have my dinner still, um, but yeah, let's move on to entertainment. So pens and papers at the ready, and let's go for it. One sec. So, question number one of entertainment. In film, which cast member of The Godfather refused to accept his Oscar? Again, if you don't know that, you probably have a stab. Question one. In film, which cast member of The Godfather refused to accept his Oscar? Question two, in the television soap EastEnders, how was Pauline Fowler re related to Ian Beale? I flicked through the channels last week and EastEnders came, I can't believe he's still in it. Question two, in the television soap EastEnders, how was Pauline Fowler related to Ian Beale? Shelley Thorne's got 24, Neil Castleton's 27, and John Mount Stevens' Star Wars was for me. Yeah, I will, I'll get some sci-fi questions in. Question two, in television soap, uh, EastEnders, how was Pauline Fowler related to Ian Beale? Question three, in pop music, which girl group scored its first number one with Never Ever? Question three, in pop music, which girl group scored its first number one with Never Ever? Question four, in film, whose portrayal of the Wall Street shark Gordon Gecko won him an Oscar for Best Actor? Question four, in film, whose portrayal of Wall Street shark Gordon Gecko won him an Oscar for Best Actor? I didn't, I didn't really like the sequel, actually. It was a bit... Uh, Question four in film, whose portrayal of Wall Street, Gordon Gecko won him an Oscar for Best Actor? Question five, which Disney character plays the Sorcerer's Apprentice in the film Fantasia? There's so much hype about this film, I thought it was bunk. But I guess it wasn't really aimed at me. Question five, which Disney character plays the Sorcerer's Apprentice in the film Fantasia? My little niece is just getting into Frozen, so... I should go shy and won't sing for me. Question five, which Disney character plays the Sorcerer's Apprentice in the film Fantasia? Question six, what is the first name of Jane and Peter Fonda's actor father? Question 
Question six, what is the, what is the first name of Jane and Peter Fonda's actor father? Question seven, which type of transport was preferred by the two fat ladies in their cookery show? I'm sure everyone's been watching that on repeat in the Great British Bake Off. But which type of transport was preferred by the two fat ladies in their cookery show? My, my, if you ate half the things that they made, I think you'd have an early grave, but it did look tasty. Because one of the hairy bikers died as well, didn't he, of a heart attack. Question eight, in the film, how many times did Timothy Dalton play James Bond? I think him, him and Pierce Brosnan were a bit, a bit average, weren't they? In film, how many times did Timothy Dalton play James Bond? I'm a huge Daniel Craig fan, but I think he said that's it now, isn't he? be interesting to see who the next one is. I'd like to see Idris Elba. Question nine, in film, Jim Carrey played which pet detective? Question nine, in film, Jim Carrey played which pet detective? He owned an iguana and he used to bring a chef on set to feed the iguana. It's crazy. Question 10, which Hollywood star became the princess of Monaco? She married the uh, prince. Which Hollywood star became the princess of Monaco? Question 11, in which Australian city would you find a Bondi beach? Someone's just said both Harry Bike are still alive. One of the ladies died at that. I know it's one of them, sorry. In which Australian city would you find Bondi beach? I'm sure there's many of you desperate to go away as soon as this is all over, isn't it? Question 12, what's the only month that ends with the letter H? Now you're gonna be counting out your months. What is the only month that ends in the letter H? Question 13, which actor played boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter in the 1990 film, 1999 film, The Hurricane? Question 13, which actor played boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter in the 1999 film, The Hurricane? And question 14, in film, which actor played Jake LaMotta in the 1980 film Raging Bull? Made his career, really, I think. It's a brilliant portrayal, but then he's a great actor. In film, which actor played Jake LaMotta in the 1980 film Raging Bull? Uh, question 15, which ancient Greek poet shares his name with a character in the cartoon, The Simpsons? So if you've watched The Simpsons, you'll, you should, you'll probably know this straight off the bat. I haven't watched it in years. Which ancient Greek poet shares his name with a character in the cartoon, The Simpsons? I've got to admit, I'm a closet South, South Park fan. I think it's hilarious. I don't know how they get away with it. Good. So, uh, in film, which cast? Sorry, in film, which cast member of The Godfather refused to accept an Oscar? Uh, 
Question two, in the television show uh, Soap EastEnders, how was Pauline Fowler related to Ian Beale? Question three, in pop music, which girls, girl group scored its first number one with Never Ever? Question four, in film, whose portrayal of Wall Street shark Gordon Gecko won him an Oscar for Best Actor? Question five, which Disney character plays the Sorcerer's Apprentice in the film Fantasia? Question six, what is the first name of Jane and Peter Fonda's uh, actor father? Question seven, which type of transport was preferred by the two fat ladies in their cookery show? And it's one of them that died, unfortunately, I've got that wrong. Uh, question eight, in film, how many times did Timothy Dalton play James Bond? Question nine, in the film, J Jim Carrey played which pet detective? Question 10, which Hollywood star became the princess of Monaco? Question 11, in which Australian city would you find Bondi Beach? Question 12, what is the only month that ends in, with the letter H? Question 13, which actor played boxer Ruben Hurricane Carter in the 1999 film The Hurricane? Question 14, in film, which actor played Jake LaMotta in the 1980 film Raging Bull? And finally, question 15, in which ancient Greek poet shares his name with a character in The Simpsons? Fantastic. Right. Moving on to uh, Blockbusters round, and then that'll be it for another few days. Right. Pens, papers out the ready. Here comes your final 15 questions uh, now. He says now. I've just got to make sure it teed up. There we go. Good. What F is uh, an establishment where metals are cast into moulds, or cast in moulds, sorry. Question number one, what F is an establishment where metals are cast in moulds? ST has just put a score up, 27.5, good vibes. Did that good vibes come from Dapper and Dapper? I can't remember. Question two, what A is a putrid egg? Question number two, what A is a putrid egg? Question three: What K is a kept place? Uh, is a kept place by an obi in Japan? I think it's supposed to be kept in place. What K is kept place by an obi in Japan? Question number four, what I is someone who supervises an exam? Question number four, what I is someone who supervises an exam? Question number five, what N is the name for someone who dissents from the established church? Question number five, what N is the name for someone who dissents from the established church? Question six, what P is used as a setting agent in jam? Question six, what P is used as a setting agent in jam? Jam is so easy to make, isn't it? It's just sugar and fruit boiled up. Question seven, what E is the use of spies to obtain secret information? Question number seven, what E is the use of spies to obtain secret information?
Question eight, what L is the country inhabited by tiny people in Gulliver's Travels? Question number eight, what L is the country inhabited by tiny people in Gulliver's Travels? Question number nine, what P means dangerous or fraught with danger? Question number nine, what P means dangerous or fraught with danger? Question number 10, what G is associated with uh, the boat, the Rainbow Warrior? Question number 10, what G is associated with the boat, the Rainbow Warrior? Question number 11, what T is the author of War and Peace? Question 11, what T is the author of War and Peace? Huge book, isn't it? I never read it. I was a Frederick Forsyth fan at school. Question 11, what T is the author of War and Peace? Question 12, what L is a shellfish that attaches itself to rocks? Question 12, what L is a shellfish that attaches itself to rocks? Question number 13, what P is a tough, transparent plastic? That came out a bit weird, didn't it? Question number 13, what P is a tough, transparent plastic? Question number 14, what H is a street in London famous for its specialist doctors? Question number 14, what H is a street in London famous for its specialist doctors? A friend of mine's got a clinic there and they've said in lockdown they've done all their stuff over the internet. They've got a higher conversion rate. They're not going to go back there because of the rent, 27,000 a month. To rent, rent it. Question 15, what H is a picture or symbol which represents a word? You usually find this on the walls in caves. Question 15, what H is a picture or symbol which represents a word? Fantastic. So, uh, question number one: What F is an establishment where metals are cast in moulds? Question two: What is a, what A is a putrid egg? Question three: What K is a kept uh, kept place by an obi in Japan? Question four: What I is someone who supervises an exam? Question five: What N is the name for someone who dissents from the established church? And someone's put a funny answer for that one. Question six: What P is used as a setting agent in jam? Question seven, what E is the use of spies to obtain secret information? Question eight, what L is the country inhabited by tiny people in Gulliver's Travels? Question nine, what P means dangerous or fraught with danger? Question 10, what G is associated with the boat Rainbow Warrior? Question 11, what T is the author of War and Peace? Question 12, what L is a shellfish that attaches itself to rocks? Question 13, what P is a tough transparent plastic? 
Question 14, what H is a street in London famous for its specialist doctors and clinics, etc.? And question 15, what H is a picture or symbol that uh, which represents a word usually found on caves? Right, come back and give you the answers, and then uh, that's it for another week. So, pens and papers at the ready to market, and here we go. Excuse me, so question number one. In film, which cast member of The Godfather re refused to accept the Oscar? Now, if you didn't know this, you probably have a guess, couldn't you? But it was Marlon Brando, who was actually campaigning for Indi um, American Indian rights in the film industry. They were only ever like extras, and there was a, a siege going on at the time as well, but I uh, was trying to give them a platform. Uh, nobody's ever done it since. Question two, in the television soap EastEnders, how is Pauline Fowler related to Ian Beale? She was his aunt. Question three, in pop music, which girls, girl group scored its first number one with Never Ever? That was All Saints. That's a music question in there, really, isn't it? But hey, it's still entertainment. Question four, in the film, whose portrayal of Wall Street uh, shark Gordon Gecko won him an Oscar for Best Actor? That was Michael Douglas. Question five, which Disney character plays the Sorcerer's Apprentice in the film Fantasia? That was Mickey Mouse. You know, I couldn't, couldn't get into Fantasia. I tried to watch it, but I gave up. Question six. What was the f uh, first name of Jane and Peter Fonda's actor father? It was Henry, Henry Fonda. Question seven. Which type of transport was uh, preferred by the two fat ladies in their cookery show? It was a motorcycle and sidecar, so quite similar to the uh, hairy bikers, weren't they? Uh, question eight. In film, how, did many, um, how many times did Timothy Dalton play um, James Bond? It was twice. Question nine, in film, Jim Carrey played which pet detective? That was Ace Ventura, pet detective. Good film. Question 10, which Hollywood star became the princess of Monaco? That was Grace Kelly. Question 11, in which Australian city would you find Bondi Beach? It's in Sydney. I'm sure there's a few of you that are desperate to get out there as soon as this is uh, all over. That'll probably be by winter then, so it'll be nice. Question 12, what is the only month that ends in the letter H? It's March. Question 13, which actor played boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter in the 1999 film The Hurricane? It was Denzel Washington. Denzel. Question 14, in film, which actor played Jake LaMotta in the 1980 film uh, Raging Bull? That was uh, Robert De Niro. And question 15, which ancient Greek pe poet shares his name with a character in the cartoon uh, The Simpsons? It was, of course, Homer. Good. On to uh, blockbusters then. So question number one, uh, what F is an establishment where metals are cast in moulds? That's a foundry. Question two, what is a putrid egg? It's addled, an addled egg is gone off basically. Question three, what K is a kept place by an obi in Japan? It's a kimono. Question four, what I is someone who supervises an exam? That's the invigilator. Question five, what N is the name for someone who dissents from the established church? Uh, somebody put a non <laughs> <laughs> a non-conformist, although it's, that's technically correct, isn't it? Question six, what P is used as a setting agent in jam? That's pectin. Question seven, what E is the use of spies to obtain secret information? It's espionage, so obviously you get corporate espionage as well, which is getting quite big in the uh, tech world at the moment. Uh, question eight, what L is the country inhabited by tiny people in Gulliver's Travels? It's the uh, Lilliput. Question nine, what P means dangerous or fraught with danger? That's perilous. Question 10, what G is associated with the boat, the Rainbow Warrior? That is Greenpeace. Question 11, what T is the author of War and Peace? That's Tolstoy. Question uh, 12, what L is a shellfish that attaches itself to rocks? It's a limpet. Question at 13, what P is a tough, transparent plastic? That is, of course, Perspex. And question 14, what H is a specialist street in London famous for its specialist doctors? Uh, that is Harley Street. So you find very expensive doctors along there, a lot of plastic surgery and stuff. Question 15, what H is a symbol, a picture or symbol with which represents a word? It's a hieroglyph. Brilliant. I hope that was good for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Pop what, uh, pop it up. Let me know how you guys got on. Bev page forward said another week, hopefully see you Sunday. Don't tell me you got 60, Bev, otherwise I'm gonna, um, I did try and make it a little bit, a little bit harder, but um, yeah. Hope that wasn't uh, too bad for you, and uh, hopefully the weather's going to pick up by Saturday, uh, and we should uh, should have a nice weekend. But there's going to be a lot of people barbecuing this weekend. My dad's coming up for his birthday for his seventieth, so I think my dad brother's going to fire up the grill. Um, so yeah, should be a good week. Let's have a look. Who has we got? Uh, Richard Napper at fifty-seven. That's good. Janice got uh, fifty. Martin Jenkins got fifty-seven out of sixty. That's decent. Paul's got fifty-three. Um, Bear page says, "Oh dear, I won't tell you then." But you did get sixty, didn't you? 
Oh man, like you guys are good. You, you guys are really good. I'm impressed. Yeah, Chris Evans got 57 this week. That's decent. You guys are obviously good quizzes. Uh, John Kenneth Jobson, 54. Uh, Sarah Cousins, very bad in the last round. Um, Susie Perry says, can we have a question six in the last round? Yeah, sure. One second. That was uh, setting agent in jam is Pectin. Uh, Susan Cobb, 47. Hi, Susan. Uh, Frank Holiday's got full house, 60 out of 60. I'm going to have to try and put some... Uh, um, put some answers in uh, more difficult uh, didn't realize you're such a big cliff richard fan of not. i just put two questions in We're, really I, I can't actually stand them um as a singer anyway con lc 48 best yet more more maths questions please thanks i'm glad you enjoyed them this is little brain teasers in case you're finding it too easy then um you've got something to sort of go back to although uh some of you guys are pretty uh pretty bright anyway so i don't think it's going to going to cause you too much problems uh nigel howler got 51 the wife got 52 so pull one back hopefully it hasn't caused air uh, too much wendy rich she's got 53 thanks wendy i think that's the first time i've seen you hope you're well or you've changed your profile picture uh debbie and phil got 43 tina's 44 tina louise hiya sherry 47 brilliant hope you can get to the 54 lockdown and cheers sherry thanks for coming in um leah toshak 43 that's great uh, dad's got 45 that's pretty pretty reasonable um, Cindy Fearson, 41 happy. Cara Maris Betts, sorry, it's a mouthful. 47 at 50, thank you for a great night, my pleasure. Cat Smith, 44 at 0.5, so obviously one of the music rounds there. Annette, hi Annette, 55 at 60. Um, so yes, yeah, Be Bev's got 60 out of 60. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to put something in there uh, difficult. Uh, or, or let me know what your weakest area is, Bev, because I've, I've, I've got got to stop this this romp uh caroline hi caroline uh, knowledge is too niche more dog questions please okay I'll, I'll get some dog questions but thanks again for that uh, for the tip about the uh, vpn it's uh it's really good uh john kenneth uh, jobson ellis gonna miss you Pro don't know if that's me but or it's probably an internal chat there carol shook got uh or shuck 44 great night john mount seems 41 mike ray best quiz yet good thank you my pleasure annette says best quiz what did you enjoy was that the um uh, a couple of the sort of brain teasers type things. I can do a little bit more of that. Jeanette's got 30 out of 60, 50%. That'll do. Susie Perry, 48. Um, and Catsmith says, thank you. Uh, good, great quiz. Grace really enjoyed it. Yeah, I hope, hope, you, hope you got some uh, good questions there, Grace. And uh, I don't know if you're going to bed yet, but I uh, hope you have a, a good night's sleep. Alice Williams, 43 out of 60. Neil's got 55. Thanks for putting it together. Good excuse for midweek drink and get the old folks online. Brilliant, yeah, isn't it just, although I'm on uh, I'm on water. Jane Ospin, thanks very much for 41. And uh, Nigel Howlett says, uh, um, see you all on Sunday. Um, what does he say? Les Dawson is a cheat. I don't, know what this, I don't know what that's referring to. Anyway, thanks very much for coming by every every twice a week to everybody. I hope you have a, a good week. Uh, and if you are planning on expanding your bubble or creating a bubble that you get out on Saturday and see uh, the family or people that you haven't seen uh, before. So as I said, we'll be streaming uh, live Sundays and Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Uh, do share it with anybody that uh, that you know that might be interested. I'd really, really appreciate that. And as always, thanks, uh, huge thanks to uh, my brother, brother for all this kit. Uh, and I'll put that as we go out. Have a great rest of your week. Take care of yourself. And uh, you guys are have been amazing. All the best and see you Sunday.